Welcome to the CAP Rotary Blast Hole Drills webinar. Thank you for your interest in our products and for taking the time to learn more about the latest offerings from the CAP Drill family. My name is Lou McDuffie and I'm your session moderator. If this is your first Caterpillar webinar, you can expect about 30 minutes of material presented by a panel of experts from the drills team. There's one poll question coming soon and we appreciate your participation with that. And we've set aside about 20 minutes for question and answers today. We will use the chat feature in the webinar so you can submit your questions at any time. And if we don't get through all of them, we will follow up. Additionally, there will be a webinar satisfaction survey afterwards. Today's agenda <clears throat> includes an introduction to the panel of speakers, the overall design philosophy of the Cat Drills family. We'll hear the TEAS experience with Cat Drills. We'll learn the top five ways that Cat Drills improve production, uptime, and operating cost. We'll review each model's capabilities and unique attributes. We'll take a look at the rock drilling tools family. We'll learn about Caterpillar value enhancements, and we'll do a high level review of aftermarket parts, service, and support. At the end of the session, we'll review how we can stay connected after the webinar. We'll do the Q and A with the panel, and we'll have closing comments. First up, Matt Jacobs. Thanks Lou, and, and good day everybody. We'll kick off here by introducing the team today that will go through the value on the drill product family. So kicking off, my name is Matt Jacobs. I'm the sales manager for the drill products. And next is Jason Anderson. He will be presenting today. Jason is a global sales support and he has six years with the drill product. Greg Scott has over 22 years with the drill product and he will cover America's uh, North and South America and South Africa. And then next is Nick Shanter. He uh, will be covering Asia Pacific and CIS. And then finally, uh, Lou McDuffie, who um, will be going through the presentation material today that is gonna show the value we build into our product. So these application specialists work with our dealers and our region teams to help support customers around the world. So we're gonna kick off with safety. We always wanna put safety first at Caterpillar. I'm gonna give a quick safety share. Um, here in Texas, uh, where the factory is located uh, and some of the team is located, we are in what we would call Tornado Alley. And uh, as a safety share, last week, uh, we had the sirens go off. And as my family in the house, um, the sirens went off, we knew exactly what to do because we had practiced it in the past. So as we talk about safety, it's not only safety at work and everything we do at work, it's also in our lives at home with our families and um, away from work. So as you practice with your family, things like fire drills and tornado drills, these are things that help in that time of crisis, you know quickly what to do and how to react. The next piece is quality. Quality is a culture at Caterpillar. We work to make sure we have that stop and fix culture and make sure that we put quality in everything we do. So that's something we strive for. And then next is values. We wanna make sure that we are successful, but we also care how we win. We make sure that using our values of integrity, excellence, teamwork, commitment, and sustainability, we make sure that def also defines how we conduct our work. All right, with that, we would like to do a quick poll, as Lou said at the beginning of the presentation. So in this poll, we're just trying to get an understanding of how much the audience has awareness or knows about the Caterpillar drill product. So if you could, please take just a minute to fill out or to select your answer on this poll, and then we will go into the results in the next slide. All right, if you're ready, we'll go ahead and jump to the results from the poll. All right, as you can see here, we have 100% on somewhat familiar with the product. So this, this uh, presentation today will be a great example of how we can show you 
um, the value we're building into this Caterpillar family of drills. Um, and with that, I'll go ahead and jump into um, the family philosophy. So back in 2015, we made a key decision that we needed to do a major update to the machine family. The reason for this update is so that we could get the extended benefit from the, the Caterpillar support and dealer network um, so that we could use tools that customers are familiar with, like our service information system, SIS, or our electronic technician, ET. So by going back and building the foundation of Caterpillar into the machine, 100% Caterpillar content, it allows us to use all of those extended tools into the product. So with that, we started with the MD6250, followed by the MD6310. Next was the MD6200. And then finally, this year, we're launching the MD6380. So that's going to give us that full family of Caterpillar machines. So what does that mean? That means that all these machines share com components. They all have the same operator interface. So as you teach or train your operators, they can operate across the family and it's consistent across the family. As technicians work on these machines, it's consistent from one machine to the next. Um, so it's, it's key to have that consistency so that we can get the support from our extended dealer and parts and service network. All right, with that, we're gonna, we're gonna look at a short video from one of our customers in Eastern Australia. We have four brand new Caterpillar drills. The 6310 machines are very stable with the, the extended mast on them. The drills have been performing better than our expectations. We're currently seeing above budget rates for these drills. The feedback from the operations guys out in the field have been really positive. They, they don't feel fatigued operating these machines. They're very smooth in their operation. They're very quiet. They've been very reliable. If our operators are happy, they're more keen to get the meters out and, and we're not down having to sort out mechanical issues or safety issues with the machine. It's all part of being able to keep the guys drilling, get the hours up out in the paddock and, and, and meet budgets. Safety is the most important thing with the machines and from a safety point of view, they're using cutting edge technology. Our operation here involves a lot of through seam blasting operations, which require the identification of coal seams during the drilling process. We use cat terrain to identify those coal seams. The data flows from the drills wirelessly into our network and the drill and blast engineers can download that data as the guys are drilling. And our blast engineers then designs the blast, the shot, the loading, the whole process in regards to firing the ground to preserve the coal seams and maximise our recovery of our coal seams in, in our shots. Cat terrain, it's been extremely reliable to date. So very, very happy with the delivery and the 6310 in general. All right, so next we're gonna step into the value selling top five uh, features or functions of the drill. And Greg Scott will be taking us through this portion of the presentation. Um, these are focused in on where does the machine provide the most customer value? Starting with the power systems, moving into the cab, talking a bit about te the leading technology, followed by the backbone of the machine, the CAD electronics, and then finally serviceability and dealer support. All right, off to you, Greg. 
Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, whatever part of the world you reside. My name is Greg Scott, and so we'll, we'll begin with our first pillar, matched powertrains or power systems. The idea is that they're optimized for efficiency because we want to deliver best in class performance. We want to lower fuel burn. We want to maintain longer individual component life. So you think about it, equipment with piecemeal major components, you know, just essentially bolted together, no matter how good their individual quality is, they never really reach full system optimization. So the trick is that each individual component or subsystem, it needs to number one, be properly matched. And just as important, it needs to be talking to and working with the other subsystems that bring the drill all together. So this is where CAT has flexed its muscle with matched power systems, CAT engine, CAT compressor, CAT hydraulics, CAT undercarriage, to deliver better performance, reduced fuel consumption, and just in general terms, an overall better working experience. Selected engines for each make and model have ample power output for constant duty at max loads, whilst providing long service life intervals. CAT's new electronic compressor controls modulate both working pressure and air volume flow, matching the drill's compressed air output to the specific requirements based on the tooling used and how it's interacting with the ground conditions and your operating environment. Caterpillar's hydraulic systems are based on a load on demand design philosophy. So we focus on efficiency and performance. And that hydraulic system acts directly with engine power demands to streamline overall performance of the drill in general. Our CAT undercarriages are the industry leader, hands down. Correctly sizing an undercarriage is a critical design element. It's got to support the size, the weight, the working envelope and CG of the machine. Plus those individual components have to have the durability to survive in the roughest ground conditions, but also Full integration of the undercarriage is a absolute must. An example being, beyond the undercarriage's rollers, chains, idlers, its drives, our hydraulic and our computer controls optimize performance. You know, so the drill trams straight and smooth. It's responsive, so it, it starts and it stops quickly and safely with precision control. Consider another example of how our hydraulic and computer controls are optimized to work in concert so that you get the right amount of pull down and rotary torque while drilling. Add to this mix our compressed air system with the electronic compressor controls to modulate airflow and working pressure to properly clear the hole of cuttings, all based on varying rock hardnesses through strata layers. And what do you get? You get an extremely productive, very efficient drilling system. When any of these elements are under or overutilized, you pay a penalty, whether it be in productivity, premature, blah, premature bit or tool wear, or elevated fuel costs. At the end of the day, or in the mid or long term, it's also gonna give you premature parts consumption. These are all things that we wanna avoid. So with that said, let's move to our second feature and talk a little bit about the operator's cab. Oops. Major focus during the design of the, the new generation CAT family was the operator environment. So we were shooting for a world-class cab and operator station. Our next gen cab is focused on improved safety, operator comfort and productivity, all with the general layout, look and feel that you expect from across the entire Caterpillar product line. So driller safety is first and foremost. So this FOPS rated cab is extremely quiet, comes standard with a drill window safety cage, retractable seat belts. We have operator present, conditional safety locks, plus much more. The cab was designed to give you improved visibility with extended windows for excellent line of sight while drilling or traveling the machine. Uh, we also fit inside the cab a three or a four uh, closed circuit camera system, depending on the make and model. This gives the operator excellent visibility around the machine's perimeter. And also we have a camera in the mast so he can see the pipe rack carousel during pipe change operations. 
The operator station is logically laid out. It keeps everything within reach uh, with controls mounted onto the operator's pod that rotate with the seat. Multifunction joystick controls are smooth and responsive and the touchscreen monitors are intuitive and pretty easy to use. The operator seat, the armrest mounted joysticks, the touch screens are all individually adjustable to suit the body size and preferences of your individual drillers. Caterpillar invested greatly in developing this new generation cab. There was a huge amount of driller feedback that we collected. There was a lot of investment in R&D to do simulations, et cetera, with drillers, and it all paid off. What I've noticed over the years is that if you run a mixed fleet of drills, Perhaps one of your biggest challenges will be, who gets to run the cat drill? We can't help you with scheduling or the roster, but we do promise to continue developing best in class equipment and components. As you'll see in the next slide, that includes leading edge technology. All cat new generation drills are enhanced by leading edge technology. Essentially, they are built for autonomy. So the machine you purchased today is fit for duty in the decades that come as autonomy and remote operation become more commonplace in the mining industry. On board the drill, we flex our drill assist technologies. They automate individual machine functions such as auto level, auto retract jacks, auto mass, uh, which raises it to the desired angle and locks or unlocks and lowers it to the rests. And then we have a full cycle auto drilling system. This allows operators to work faster and more consistently, reducing setup and cycle times through one touch auto functionality. Or in manual operation mode, your drillers can flex the conditional interlocks and the safety systems that are built into the machine. We also provide machine health and machine performance monitoring and connectivity to help you manage operations and improve, and improve machine or fleet performance. The machines are designed to accept several layers of off-board technology that can be added at your own pace. Cat, cat drills come ready for Cat MindStar technologies, connecting your machine to a powerful fleet management tool. For example, your machine can be geared up for enhanced productivity with Cat Terrain for drilling, using high precision GPS and downloadable drill and blast patterns, which enhances your fragmentation consistency, consistency, consistency by precisely executing drill patterns, spotting over the hole, drilling to the proper depth, virtually eliminating over or under drilled holes. Production strata mapping, each individual hole can be used to refine and adjust blasting operations for precision blast, power, control, and efficiency. And then better quality shot material means smoother downstream operations. It's repeatable, it's optimized performance, that flows throughout the mining operation. With command for drilling, you can also take the next steps towards autonomy. You could run operator mission assist as an entry point into the basics of autonomy. You could move to a next level, which is semi-autonomous drilling system, which would autonomously drill a row of holes without operation uh, operator assistance or intervention. You could employ a remote operator station uh, this remote operator station would allow you to manually control the rig, uh, either line of sight or in a remote office, or you could run full autonomy. This enables the drill, gives it the ability to drill an entire pattern to include uh, relocating row upon row without manual intervention. Whatever level of technology you choose for your operations, be it drilling in manual mode or some level of autonomy, Cat's Drill family has the essential electronics package on board, which takes us to the next slide, Cat Electronics. So Cat Drills are built with proven Cat electronic hardware and software. The Cat Drill family uses the same ECMs, wiring harnesses, layout and strategy, the same touch screens and design architecture as other Cat machines. As discussed in our first pillar, this backbone is what connects individual components and subsystems on the drill. Plus, it allows for CAT off-board technology as detailed in the third pillar. Enabling it to work harder and more efficient is the name of the game. Computer controls are an integral part of our second pillar, our best-in-class cab as well. 
So our computer controls, they actually bring the machine together. We flex over 50 integrated machine protection features and interlocks, which protect from costly failure and downtime. The benefits of this are pretty straightforward based on the above. But from a general serviceability level, just ask yourself, are my service personnel familiar with CAT electronic technician from experience with other CAT machines? If yes, they can use that same skill set for quick and easy troubleshooting onboard CAT drills. Speaking of service, that takes us to the fifth pillar. Serviceability was a intense focus during the development of this new family. It's designed or the drill family are designed for easy service access and extended preventive maintenance intervals. We have neat and uniform hydraulic hose and wiring harness runs. We group service points together and we have open access to components that help your maintenance personnel keep the machine running obviously to give you superior uptime and availability. Large water and fuel tanks reduce time between refills, effectively giving your operations more drill time. Commonality of filters and consumables across the drill family and other CAT products mean that you keep fewer parts on hand, further simplifying your operations. And with onboard drill health monitoring and worth mentioning again, CAT electronic technician, troubleshooting is by far much easier. For the past century, CAT dealers have been mastering that face-to-face -face service and support that keeps customers on track for uptime, productivity, and operating cost. I mean, there's essentially none better in the industry today. With that said, let's take a quick look at the CAT drill family. As you can see from this slide that we cover a wide range of hole diameters. We're talking 127 millimeter or five inches all the way out to 406 millimeter or 16 inches. Let's go through each member so we can talk about some of the highlights. And we'll start with the small size class. This would be our MD6200, the perfect tool for quarries or uh, mining operations and also contractors. The MD6200 is a powerful production blast tool drill and extremely versatile. With a compact working envelope and best-in-class maneuverability, it's ideal for contract drillers, quarries, and also mining operations. It's got a negative angle drilling capability that allows it to handle specialty projects like ramp and access development. You could drill sink shot patterns with it. You could even do some limited pre-split drilling with this particular rig if you wanted to. The MD6200 has the smallest shipping envelope in its class, and it can be transported over the road with a mast on, making it the most transportable drill in its class. Preparation for transport requires no lifting tools. Uh, all removable components outside of the shipping envelope are easily handled by two persons uh, using just simple hand tools. You're essentially disconnecting a few ladders, a few walkway sections, and away you go. Let's take a look at a short overview video of the 6200. on let's talk a little bit to the medium size class let me 
together. This is the medium sized glass, essentially our, our MD6250, optimal for both quarries and mining operations. So this drill is designed to fit a wider range of production uh, applications, be it hole size and also mine types. The MD6250 is the most versatile drill because this model, this size class, essentially covers the most extensive range of applications. It's regarding hole diameter, hole depth, and as I mentioned, mine types. The 6250 can be configured to drill 152 millimeter out to 250 millimeter hole diameter or six to nine and seven eighths thereof. For coal and overburden applications, the machine is typically configured with a 2000 CFM 125 PSI air package and a master arrangement providing for 11.2 meters single pass hold depth or 36.7 feet thereof. For hard rock applications, the machine is typically configured with a 1350 CFM 500 PSI compressed air package, or we can drop in a 1500 CFM 350 PSI air package to power DTH hammers. And then the mast arrangement we typically drop on the machine provides 13.6 meters single pass hole depth or 44.6 foot thereof. Both mast arrangements, the 13 and the 11, come standard with a four pod pipe rack carousel for multi-pass drilling if you need to go deeper. The next class is the large size class. So this is essentially our MD6310. Uh, we target large mining operations, and this drill is primarily designed to, draw, to drill large boreholes at 270 millimeter, or 10 and 5 eighths inches. Like its little brothers and sisters, the MD6310 can be configured with several different compressor packages and mast arrangements to fit your individual applications and mine types. It's been highly successful in copper, iron, and coal. The MD6310 is a true power drill that is setting the new standard in mines around the globe. Combine 100% Caterpillar design with exclusive integrated technology options, and what do you get? You get the perfect balance of drilling power and technology for your operation. With the new CAT 6310 rotary blast hole drill and command for drilling layered technology, I mean, as I've mentioned, you choose a level of automation you need for precision performance to drive down cost and drive up profitability. As you heard from TEIS, the MD6310 is doing an incredible job at improving results at that site and many others around the world. The ultra class size. The ultra class, we have our MD6380, that's diesel powered, and then our MD6640, which is an electric powered drill. These drills are designed to drill the largest borehole diameters, typically 311 millimeter all the way out to 406 millimeter or 12 and a quarter out to 16 inch thereof in the roughest and toughest applications. The MD6380 is the newest member of our cat drill family. It has all of the top five most valued attributes that Matt outlined, plus it wears the title of best in class maneuverability. So it's designed to drill large diameter boreholes down to a depth of 19.8 meters or 65 feet, single pass in copper and in iron, for example. And this MD6380 is powered by a CAT 3512C diesel engine with superior machine center of gravity, stability, and a compact working envelope with the precision controls we discussed before. This ultra class rig can move and drill further faster like all CAT drills, the MD6380 is designed to work at extreme high altitude and also in Arctic temperatures or searing heat. Keep an eye on this drill as we believe it will reshape the industry. So let's watch a quick video that details the 6380.
Moving forward, we hit the MD6640. The MD6640 continues the proud tradition of the uh, 49HR from years past. But with the Caterpillar updates and component commonality that's desired by our customers. So for electric powered ultra class drills, I mean, the MD6640 sets the standards for performance and efficiency. The 6640 has been improved with a CAT 390 undercarriage. Uh, we drop in 3,800 CFM air package. And then we also have the new generation CAT cabin controls on board, plus many other updates. We're using a rack and pinion feed and hoist system, uh, allowing the MD6640 to generate up to 63,957 kilograms of bit loading. Uh, that's 141,000 pounds. This allows the machine to power a tricone, a tricone bit through the roughest and toughest or the hardest ground conditions out there. Configured with this large air package, the MD6640 continues to set the bar in large bore hole diameter application and at work sites at the highest elevations around the globe. And with that, I'll pass this over to Jason to detail CAT rock drilling tools, uh, value enhancement programs and aftermarket's part support. Jason. Great, thanks, Greg. Do you know drilling sets the pace of the whole operation? It impacts the speed, the efficiency, and the cost of downstream operations. So simply put, if the drilling falls behind, the entire operation is affected. So choosing the right cutting tool for the application is a critical step. Caterpillar offers both DTH hammers and bits for high pressure down the hole drilling and tricone bits for low pressure rotary drilling. And we've got both soft and hard rock configurations to suit your specific ground conditions. Training materials are also available to help with the application and selection process. And as with all ground engaging tools, Caterpillar has subject matter experts ready to help with any questions, uh, with any training sessions, uh, site assessments, and uh, really to get a drilling system dialed in for your site. So with that, let's talk a little bit about uh, DTH hammers and bits. So DTH down the hole, hammers and bits offer fast and reliable operation that lets you cut down on costs, uh, reduce time spent drilling, and get to work producing. They have an efficient design, proprietary materials, and the use of advanced heat treating for giving them uh, superior wear life, even in the toughest conditions. And this provides reliable operation in the, in the long, long term. Uh, so a little bit more on, on CAT DTH bits. These are made from a high quality alloy and that helps to deliver a maximum uh, bit hardness without sacrificing the toughness and the after treatment uh, surfaces extend wear life. So we've got bits that are high performance, we call them HP and standard duty SD hammers, which use a standard QL shank for dependable performance and compatibility with other brands. Uh, our bits have a two flushing hole design that offers higher air speed and there's also a three flushing hole design to deliver enhanced air distribution. Uh, bit customization is also available to meet your specific site and drilling conditions. Tricone bits. So CAT tricone bits are designed for tough and severe rotary blast hole applications. Our offering includes a wide range of bit diameters with various carbide shapes and cutting face arrangements to maximize the, the key here, which is the rate of penetration. Caterpillar's extensive experience with heat treat technology, the advanced air-cooled bearing design, both yield longer life, resulting in lower costs. And as with DTH hammers and bits, Caterpillar is there to fine tune the cutting tool selection to ensure it's best suited uh, to your specific application. We've got variations in nozzle sizes, in thread types, and in shirt tail protection, and these can be adjusted to fit your needs upon request. 
So with that, let's watch a short video on Trichome Bits. At Trichome Bits, a bit better. Okay, aside from the equipment itself, there are value enhancements available that can greatly impact the success of an operation. So together we're mining better, and these value enhancements uh, point out a few areas on how. So CVAs, or customer value agreements, help you maximize equipment health, keep your fleet running, and get the most from your investment. With built-in cost controls, a range of guarantees. Your cat dealer can tailor these plans to suit your mine site specific needs and bring top results to your business. Site performance. So we consider ourselves partners, not just in the equipment, but we'll help you see the big picture of your operation and work alongside you to improve performance across the site. We'll help you optimize overall operation, whether that's sharing expertise or becoming an integral part of the on-site operations team. And finally, Caterpillar is a technology company leading the way with autonomy. We have fleets of autonomous machines around the world, trucks, underground losers, dozers, and drills, delivering positive results without an operator on board. Workers are safer, machines are more efficient, operations are more consistent and productive, the equipment just lasts longer, and mines are more profitable. And as Greg mentioned earlier, parts availability and dealer support are critical to your bottom line. Our drills share common parts to each other and other CAT equipment. This streamlines maintenance and reduces parts inventory, all of which reduces cost. Our aftermarket support is a source of pride at Caterpillar because we're well equipped to supply the parts and services to meet customers' needs. Did you know Caterpillar supports more than 1.4 million part numbers? We ship over 11 million pieces each and every week, and there are over 2,000 dealer locations across the globe to support our customers. All of this to keep your machines up and running. And with that, I will pass this back over to Lou. Thank you, Jason. What an exciting time to be a part of Caterpillar and the Drills Group. Before we begin our Q&A segment, let's talk about how we can stay connected after this web webinar. We love to share product news and celebrate our dealer and customer wins on social media. So choose your favorite channel and chances are that Cat Mining is there. And you can follow us to be the first to get news and stories. And please do share your stories with us. If you'd like to reach anyone on the drills panel today, you can do so via email through mining at cat.com. Just ask for drills. The content that you saw today and much more can be found on cat.com drills. If you enjoyed this segment, we're hosting another one in July with a quarry focus. You're welcome to register via cat.com forward slash mining. While you're on that website, notice we have a fantastic program planned around Mine Expo 21, including an interactive exhibit, product demonstrations, and even factory visits. There will be some digital experience opportunities if you can't make it in person. Now let's open it up for Q&A in the chat feature. You can submit your questions. It looks like we've gotten a few in already. Um, and if we don't get through all of them, we will follow up after the session. 
All right. So our first question here is for Greg Scott. I heard you say the MD6200 has negative angle. Can you explain that a little more? Okay, so <laughs> negative angle on the MD6200. As you can imagine, a machine or a rotary blast hole drill, you obviously lock the mast at vertical. So from vertical and then tilting back towards the non-drill end, that's traditional angle. That's what you see that's common in the industry. And it's usually in five degree increments out to 30 degrees. That's traditional angle drilling. What the MD6200 offers and no one else does is the ability to actually shift that mast to what we call negative angle or in the drilling direction in five degree increments out to 15 degrees. What this does is it gives the machine that added versatility needed to do specialty drilling projects. Uh, and as I'd mentioned, if you needed to, it can do limited pre-split drilling as well. Great, thanks, Greg. Um, the next question, uh, Jason, this one is for you. Where are the CAT drills manufactured? Yeah, thanks, Lou. Yeah, so our, our worldwide manufacturing facility is located in Denison, Texas, in the US. Um, for those of you familiar with that area, that's just about an hour north of Dallas. And we produce all of our machines out of this facility. That it includes our small, medium, large, and our two ultra class machines. Great. Okay, I think uh, this next question we'll send to Matt Jacob. Um, what has to be removed from the MD6200 for transport? I think Matt dropped off. I'll take this question, Lou. So the MD6200 is easily okay. The MD6200 is easily transportable. There's a few bolt-on ladders and walkway sections that need to be removed from the sides just to get it within uh, shipping uh, width limits. As I'd mentioned in my discussion, they're all easily handled by uh, no more than two. Uh, technicians, and there's no special tooling or lifting uh, tooling required for removal mm -hmm. thereof. So it's quite essentially unbolt and go. Fantastic. A uh, new question coming in now. Greg, we'll send this one to you as well. Which brand of compressor are you installing on the entire drills product line? Well, they're all cat branded compressors. And so we partner with a compressor manufacturer. Uh, we, we've got the uh, agreements in place, et cetera. Uh, we are proactively involved in the design and the development thereof. So you can consider it a 100% cat component. Fantastic, thanks, Greg. Um, okay, you say the cat drills, Greg, this question is for you as well. You say the cat drills are fully computer controlled and have drill assist on board. Does that limit the drillers from running them manually? Oh, well, no, it doesn't. Okay, so that's a, that's a, a neat question. What we've done is we've got computer controls. Obviously. We've got the added interlocks, the conditional, the safety features designed into the control system. We have a full set of compute, uh, manual controls as well. So. The operator has the option to run the machine manually if they like, or they can program the machine so it's quite literally just one touch uh, operation for the major drilling functions. Like I mentioned, auto level, auto, and then a full cycle auto drill system. So we've given the uh, the drillers or you know the mining industry the best of both worlds with the new CAD drills. Great. Well, we're getting some really great questions today. I love this engagement. Um, okay, Greg, here's another technical level question for you. Um, how many hours can a machine run between refilling fuel and water? <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a tricky question, but no problem. So 
it obviously depends on what your engine load factor is, how hard you're running the machine. Uh, if you're running at you know a high load factor, you're going to burn a little bit more fuel per hour. The intent during the design of the new generation was that we wanted to make sure we had tanks sized accordingly so you could run a full shift. So it's safe to say you can get 14 hours between, between refills. Uh, that's not to say that if you're running in a little bit easier, you know, drilling conditions, et cetera, you could squeeze that out to perhaps 16, maybe up to 17 hours. Great. Uh, Greg, we have a question coming in now about serviceability. It says you indicate extended preventive maintenance intervals. What does that mean? What are the typical intervals? And what are the typical engine oil change and filter air, air filter intervals? Okay, so. So the question is, you know, what does extended interval mean? That's typical. Okay. It, it, again, it's uh, the question of when you change filters or you change lubricants, it's really based on your operating environment, right? So you're going to see a little bit different performance depending on where in the world the machine's working. The intent with the new uh, generation was that we wanted to stretch from the traditional 250 uh, hour engine hour, or SMU hour, uh, PM cycle, push it out to 500. So in general terms, uh, we're looking at our PM schedule being based on 500 uh, SMU hours. Now, as we all know in the mining industry, it's always best to have a proactive approach to preventive maintenance. Uh, and that would include SOS or oil sampling. And that's gonna really be the key indicator of when you need to change oil and lubricant. So 500 is what our defined target was. It could stretch a little bit out or it could be pulled back a little bit based on your individual operating environment. Filters pretty much match the same. The systems are designed so that we push our PM out to 500 hour uh, intervals. However, if you're in an extremely dusty, a very uh, abrasive environment, uh, we might find that that needs to be tuned back a little bit or vice versa. Excellent. Thanks, Greg. Um, for the next question, um, I see there are two sizes of cabs. How is this split across the models? Greg, would you answer that question for us today? Yeah, that's okay. That's a neat question. So we actually have three cabs. Uh, if, if you remember, you saw the MD6200. It has a pretty small, compact cab on there. That's specific to that make and model. It's a smaller uh, envelope cab, but is the same operator pod and the same uh, control layout that you see across the family. When you move up into the MD6250, that's where you get what we call the CAT standard cab. So a little bit enlarged when compared to the MD6200. And then if I move up to the next la layer or the next level, the large class MD6310, I have the option of a standard cab or I can select the extended cab. It gives you extra uh, leg room inside, obviously. Pushes mm -hmm. the more space. When we move over to the ultra class side of the product line, those machines typically come standard with the extended cab, obviously, because they've got a larger working envelope. We have more room. You don't sacrifice maneuverability, et cetera. Great. Yeah, I've, I've seen a number of people inside those large cabs. They can hold, hold quite a few. Thanks, they Greg. can hold a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, for the next question, um, Greg, I see that the machine has a single pass hole option. Can they also drill deeper? Deeper, I think you said multi pass. Yeah, that's correct. So. We, we rate our mass basically on their single pass hole depth. That's be one stroke of the rotary head, uh, just to make it you know, fairly straightforward when we're configuring the rigs. But keep in mind, each one of those mass configurations have either a carousel type pipe rack and or a left hand, right hand pipe loader. So on the 6200, 250 and 310, it's a carousel pipe rack. It typically holds four 
pipes. So effectively speaking, I can drill down four pipes deeper. Uh, the total hole depth varies based on the model. When I move over into the ultra class uh, side of the family, we're using a left hand, right hand pipe uh, handling system, I can effectively go down two additional pipes deeper if I need to. So we built that versatility into uh, all of the models across the range. Great, okay. Um, in the same topic of configurations, Greg, here's one more question for you. Um, I can see that Caterpillar builds a large range of blast hole drills. Do they drill with both trichome bits and DTH hammers and bits? Ah, yes, they do. Now, there's one thing we always have to consider when we're configuring a drill. Uh, typically for, let's say, an overburden uh, or a soft ground condition application, uh, the machine will be running trichome bits. Uh, in that case, it might be configured with a low pressure compressor. I had mentioned the MD6250 can be configured with 2000 CFM 125 PSI max operating pressure air compressor set. <laughs> that particular config is gonna be able to drill trichone only. However, if I were to take the same machine and I dropped in a high pressure compressor, I've got the option then to either drill in low mode with trichone bits, or I can drill in high pressure mode and I can run DTH hammers and bits. Now, it, it all depends on what your specific application is. Uh, if you're a contractor, you might want to configure a rig with an HP compressor. That way you've got the option or the variability to use both. Uh, if you're a coal application, obviously you're going to configure the rig with a low pressure compressor to get the lowest uh, operating cost in that particular environment. Great. Thanks, Greg. Okay, I think this will be our final question. It's also related to a special application. The question is, in the Peruvian area, we generally work at high altitudes. What models would you generally recommend? Okay, so when we're talking about elevation in the Peru uh, region, we're talking about the Andes. So we're talking about high elevation. What you see in those markets is that because of the air density, uh, and then just general ground conditions they've got to drill through. We typically lean towards the ultra class side of our drill family. Uh, that would be to drill traditional trichone holes or they're typically large borehole diameters, a 311 millimeter or 12 mm -hmm. and a quarter diameter thereof. However, the MD6310 has a high volume uh, air compressor package we can drop in plus plenty of drill power to handle those large diameter boreholes. So it's, a, it's an effective player in that market as well. And uh, quite honestly, there could be a few DTH applications that come into play uh, where the MD6250 could fit. So just in summary, we lean towards the ultra class side of the business, but we like to vet and uh, validate each individual application because there is some room also for the 6310 and the 6250. Awesome, thanks. Uh, it looks like we've got a few more questions, but we are coming up at the top of the hour. So as I mentioned earlier, we will follow up with you after the session to make sure all of the questions have been answered. So thank you so much for your engagement. And um, <clears throat> let's see, I think as Matt had to step away, um, I'll do the closing remarks today. Just, uh, we do have Matt. Yeah, uh, thanks, hey Matt. I'll just pass the, the presentation back over to you. Thank you for rejoining. Yeah, sorry, I lost connection just for a minute. I just want to take this time to, to no thank worries. everybody for joining the web conference today. And remember the five key topics that we built into the family, bringing that, that value back to the customer. So thank you for your time today. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to learn more about drills. And please uh, join us for the upcoming webinar in July, also on drills. Thanks, Luke. Thank you all.